let's take a look at this new series called uh, is it worth it where i revisit some of the products i have used iphone 7 plus this has been my only phone for a uh, last three years i plan to keep it for a uh, one more year or at least until the end of the year as long as it keeps working i paid about 72000 for it or uh, 1025 dollars or so after owning this for three years i know my way around it and i have customized it really well for my usage has taken a few knocks in the meantime as you can see this has taken quite a few falls but luckily only some scratches here and there nothing major as you can see it has quite a few scratches i really like this silent button feature whenever i go outside i can just turn this on and it turns into silent mode and vibrates which is easier to recognize in uh, traffic for the last three years i've used this on all my travels as my camera not sure about the two lenses though i think i prefer one two is a distraction so i'm really not sure about the three looks like there will be four in future i think i prefer a one lens turn on the camera and shoot not have to worry about which lens i'm using I haven't used the flash that much. I think I've mostly used this as a torch. Within the first few months of owning this phone, I sold my Canon 500D. That's how much I like the camera on this. I really like the feature where uh, you can raise to turn on the screen and just swipe to get to the camera. And it's really fast. I use this phone really heavily and it takes some of the best pictures. I'll be slowly posting these on Instagram. I really love the camera feature on this. I'm also quite a heavy phone user, like six hours of phone time after three years of heavy phone usage. The battery capacity has come down to 79%. It still gives me nearly a full day's heavy usage. Still get all the latest updates. Feels really fast. In the next phone I buy, I definitely need a more storage. This has 32 GB. I think I might go for the 128 GB one. I'm quite surprised how many photos I take. So definitely need lots of storage this screen is perfect size for a mobile i would prefer it to be a little bit lighter though this feels quite heavy i kind of like having these uh, notches on the side which help in holding the phone i haven't switched over to the new iphones because they are really pricey and uh, this works really well still so this is totally worth it for me quite nice check it out let's take a look at this cashew cracker this is from mahi that's how the cashew cracker looks 100 percent vegetarian quite a simple packaging that looks quite delicious 100 percent natural nut naturally enriched with nutrients nice buns there ingredients are uh, cashew gram flour edible oil and uh, spices etc although cashews are one of the lowest fiber nuts they are packed with vitamins minerals and uh, antioxidants these include vitamin e k and b6 along with minerals like copper, phosphorus, zinc, magnesium, iron, and uh, selenium, all of which are important for maintaining good bodily function. 
this costs around uh, 155 rupees or uh, two dollars or so this is manufactured in uh, Haryana India so let's taste it That's how it looks to what's on the packaging. Let's taste it. The batter on the outside has a nice saltiness to it, hint of sourness, and it makes the cashews quite crackly and uh, quite tasty, quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Fragmag notebook. You get a notebook with bookmark with this really beautiful design. This is from Fragmag, made in India. Costs around uh, 250 rupees or uh, 3 dollars or so. The picture is from Hawa Mahal, painted door, the five story palace of winds is located on the main street of Pink City, Jaipur, in India, built by Savai Pratap Singh in 1799. Its honeycomb facade of 953 latticed windows was designed as a naturally air-conditioned viewing gallery for the queens without being seen themselves. This is the latticed design very good see through this is a paper with two flexible magnets at bottom so you can just clip onto books like this and it should stay in place that's how the notebook looks such a beautiful design this was done in 1799 imagine the tools they would have used to make this amazing work i can only imagine what they could have made if they had tools that we have nowadays it's a blank notebook That's such a beautiful idea for a notebook. There are so many such amazing artwork all over India. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these flavored peanuts. These are by Nutless Gourmet Flavored Peanuts. These are hot habanero flavor, high in protein antioxidants comes in a nice tin ingredients are uh, peanuts salt sugar modified starch black pepper powder monosodium glutamate garlic powder onion powder citric acid tartazine medium chain triceratops oil extracts of paprika and lemon Manufactured in uh, Gujarat, India. Costs around uh, 140 rupees or uh, 2 dollars or so. This zesty, tingly and supremely hot combination is roasted on a slow, even heat to infuse a spicy crunch in every bite. Hotter than hell, habanero peanuts is the new addition. So let's taste it that's how it looks 
Let's taste it. They are uh, crunchy and uh, spicy. Some of them have extra chili on them. They should be even more spicy. That one is quite spicy and uh, really delicious. And it goes surprisingly well with peanuts. Quite delicious habanero peanuts. Quite nice. Check it out. Any idea what this is? And it helps store stuff. Let's take a look at this earring storage stand from IKEA. This costs around uh, 209 rupees or uh, 3 dollars or so. The length is 21 centimeters and the height is 9 centimeters. It's, it's made out of metal and I like the color on it. Really simple design. So let's put some earrings on. That's how it looks once it's set up. You can hang earrings here. These are quite easy to take out. Looks like you can do about 18 earrings. You can also clip them on like this. Looks like you can store more than 30 earrings and it's also quite easy to remove them. It's a really nice way to display the earrings and uh, store them. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this candy. This is Rolex Cola by Parley. The solid cola. I think they stopped making these but uh, they brought back because there was a popular demand online or something like that. This costs around uh, 5 rupees or uh, 10 cents or so. Ingredients are uh, sugar, liquid glucose, SHD regulators, contains permitted uh, natural color, artificial flavoring substance, cola. This has 20% extra, so you get 12 pieces instead of 10. So let's taste it. That seems unnecessary. That's how it looks. Let's taste it. The candy is quite hard. You get a really nice cola flavor. The double packaging seems a bit excessive. Quite tasty though. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this notebook. Let's take a look at this butterfly surprise. These are uh, made out of paper with the butterfly wings printed on them. It's made out of thin metal. You're supposed to twist this few times before putting it in a book or in an envelope.
you can even replace the rubber band quite easily. That's how you remove it. Make sure it goes through that loop. That's how you replace the rubber band. Quite a fun surprise. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this coffee powder. This is Nescafe Gold Origins Alta Rica. Comes in this beautiful packaging. Blend of selected Arabica beans from Latin America. Revealing unexpected hints of cacao. Really like the gold finish on the cap and the packaging. That's how the coffee powder looks blend of selected arabica beans from latin america freeze dried soluble coffee made from 100% pure coffee beans this costs around uh, 660 rupees or uh, 9 dollars or so so let's taste it So let's make some. That's how the coffee looks. Nice color. So let's taste it. It has a really amazing coffee smell. Nice coffee flavor. Such a intense flavor of coffee. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this rainbow cup set. You get six cups, comes in this really unique setup. Looks like it comes in multiple colors. I think the bases are different, other than that the cups look the same. It's the cup that makes the coffee. This costs around uh, 480 rupees or uh, 7 dollars or so. Quite an interesting packaging. So let's see what do we get. That's how the set looks. There was a price label which I took out. That's why it looks like that. To remove the cap, just press on the sides. Now you can take each of the cups. It's a decent cup with a nice handle. Handle could have been a bit longer though. But still quite comfortable to hold. When you're done using it, you can store it easily. notch there makes it quite fiddly and it has one more feature you can carry this maybe this could come handy for a picnic or something quite a colorful and uh, interesting looking cup set Quite nice. Check it out. 
let's take a look at this caramel popcorn this is from popcorn fusion this is pure essence caramel popcorn ingredients are corn sugar butter edible vegetable oil salt added flavor emulsifier acidity regulators added flavor natural and uh, nature identical this is manufactured in uh, haryana india costs around uh, 79 rupees or a dollar or so other flavors they have are uh, peanut butter chocolate peri peri italian pizza and uh, cheese i'm surprised someone hasn't come up with wasabi popcorn so let's taste it look at the amount of caramel on it let's taste it that's some really good caramel you get a thick layer of it which is crunchy and the popcorn is really soft and you also get really big pieces of popcorn that's a delicious combo quite nice check it out let's take a look at these fragrance candles they look so beautiful with real flowers in them that's actually quite a clever idea when nature has given so many amazing things why make your own artwork these are from sri aru puja from kotupakkam i think that's in tamil nadu india costs around uh, 233 rupees or uh, 3 dollars or so these are a uh, tuber rose scented simple packaging so let's take a closer look Each of them are uh, individually wrapped. Maybe they need to do that to keep the design intact because it's right on the surface. And you can see these are uh, real flowers and leaves. That's such a nice idea. That looks really elegant and uh, smells quite nice too quite nice check it out 